Hello friends, welcome back to another roll review. Today it is the roll two for the Polaroid SX70. It's gonna be a great, great video today. Yes, after my first roll, I decided I wanted to experiment with flash in order to help some low light or uh, shadowed light images. And I went ahead and picked that up. We're gonna have a quick unboxing of that. The other thing I'd like to share with you is that beautiful OM4 that you saw at the beginning of the video. Great mechanical camera right there. Nice that uh, you'll see. Also, I took the final picture of the SX-70 on my Roll 1 review, and that came out great. So there was the camera in the flesh as a little Easter egg for you. Hope you enjoyed that. What I'd like to do here is just kind of point out that there are three types of film. You've got the SX-70 film, you've got the Polaroid I-Type film, and then you've got the 600 film. The SX-70 and the 600 both have batteries in them and are for use in the vintage cameras. Of course, the SX-70 film is for use only in the SX-70. Now, there's one other thing I've got here. If I didn't show it to you a second ago, I'll pop it in right now. And that is the neutral density filters that goes inside the camera of the SX-70 so that you can use Polaroid 600 type film in it. This is something that has happened for quite a bit of time. This is nothing new for Polaroid photography. But the one thing that is new is the fact that uh, it's new to me. So I'm gonna share that with you once I decide to use that. And the cameras themselves are in excellent working condition. I had a wonderful time with it. But today we're just gonna really focus on the SX-70 and the mint flash bar. So let's go ahead and check the flash bar out. So going ahead and looking at the packaging, it's nice as you can see. Uh, we have to slide it out from underneath the sleeve right here. And once we do, the box opens and just like anything from mint it's got beautiful uh, inside packaging it just looks nice they've presented very well these flash bars are about 80 bucks so if you see one that you like because the video is not sponsored you're welcome to use that link below and pick up your own flash bar or film any of those amazon links where i found the best prices on you uh, for you on film will actually uh, pay a little commission back to me and you'll actually save some money because i've spent the time looking for the best prices and you don't have to but getting back to this, it's got a couple of cool things that come along with it. You saw there, they have got the two different uh, little flash colors, the little gels. Those are actually held onto the flash bar mechanically. It comes with two AAA batteries. We put it in and it looks like it just uses the PCB board to slip into the flash socket. It doesn't sound like anything strange. Now, one thing that's for sure is that these PCB boards sometimes don't make a good connection because the connections uh, can tarnish and that can cause the signals not to send. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a couple times and test it off camera, but enough about that. Let's jump right into it today, photographing outdoors. The temperature is going to be roughly 78 degrees. This is important because Polaroid film reacts differently in different temperatures. And I, I had a good experience with the first roll. Um, I'm hoping that uh, the hotter temperature doesn't have too much. We'll see that here very shortly, I suppose. We're also gonna be working with this flash bar. I wanna make sure that the flash bar is going to fire correctly all the time. Spoiler alert, it didn't. So uh, as we go through, I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, the numbering for this start at 21, 22, 23, all the way up to 28 because it's my second roll. And here we're getting ready to take a nice little picture of me. So this is uh, me <laughs> and the self-portrait right here, just trying to get a focus. I'm really just setting this based on uh, how close I think I am. I'm about a foot and a half away. The thing about this turned out nice and we're gonna have a nice little flash come up here too. So the mint flash bar is gonna work but not so much um, room light, not so much room light being lit up. The next shot is gonna be out by the lake. Uh, here I'm just sitting down trying to get a nice picture of the sun or of my sun. And uh, I'm really hoping that the flash is going to really illuminate Robert. Unfortunately, it's not gonna do that good of a job. Let's go ahead and check it out now. And as you can see, it's very contrasty and there is a magenta shift now, I've scanned these negatives so that they are very neutral. There's no sharpening or anything added extra to them, but it's actually quite a bit more magenta in person. And as you can see, I did set the camera to minus one exposure compensation. So let's move on to the next one. From there, we're going to run on along to this little very high contrast shot because we're going to shoot up into the, to the leaves of this tree. My son's going to jump up there. Now, at this point in time, I don't really know that there's a magenta hue. It takes about 15 minutes for the film to develop. This is just a few minutes later. But uh, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm really looking forward for this flash to fire. I was concerned that it didn't fire the first time. I couldn't tell. And as you can see here, it did flash. Um, I went ahead and gave us plus one exposure value compensation in order to 
brighten up the trees some, but you can see that that was quite a bit brighter. I was using the mint flash on the full power, uh, which is a, the suggested use for the uh, SX70 film, but I think I would have I think I would use half power in this instance if I were to do it again. All in all, not so bad. There's a little magenta hue, but not too terribly much. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I do think that the focus came out nice, and the contrast was looking pretty good. And for a second, I have my son check out the camera. He's really having a good time with it and just going out having a blast today. We wanted to bring this out to another shot. I, I knew that the film, or I knew that the flash bar flashed the first or the second time. I don't know if it flashed the first time. So I'm still thinking about that, and I decided to go ahead and get a picture of Robert here. And it's actually not going to flash this time either. And, and so I'm asking my son about this, and it's the, he's having a hard time telling me if it flashed or didn't flash, which just means that he didn't see the flash. I didn't see the flash, and so it did not flash. And that's a bit of a problem. I would, would really have liked to have seen this flash bar work a little bit better. So I do, after this, take it out and, uh, and kind of you know, uh, try to tighten up the cotton tacks a little bit just by putting it in and, and bringing it out. But we sit here and we have a good shot. The picture does have a very strong magenta cast to it. You can't see that so well here. I guess there's some processing going on in my scanning that's color correcting, even though I have color correction turned off. But in person, there's a much stronger magenta hue. You know, and it probably has something to do with the LED light that's uh, lighting up my scanner. But now we're kind of looking at the images for the first time and confirming that, yeah, the very first shot, I did not have a flash. And it's kind of an issue. I'm upset. As we walk across this little area, we see <laughs> these happy post people, postmen, uh, doing a little quick exchange. And we get to my next shot, and my son has asked, he says, hey, Dad, I want to take a picture of you. And I said, well, I hope it's better than that first one you took uh, on roll one. And he promised me that it would be. So here we go. He lines it up. I think he's doing a great job here. And he turns out to get a really nice composition. Focus is pretty good, too. I think that uh, we've got a strong magenta hue. I did not see a flash. And this is really bugging me. I want the flash to flash. The flash is supposed to go off. It's not going off. And at this time, I'm, I'm becoming a little bit frustrated because the whole purpose of this roll review was to use the flash, and, and we're not getting it. And it's just kind of irritating to me. But once again, we've got that magenta hue, and it's 78 degrees out. We're moving over here to this nice little shot. We're going to look at the puppy dog, Cooper, our neighbor's pet. And we're going to get some pictures of my son with Cooper. And once again, uh, I'm photographing in this area. And from my one roll one review, I realized I kind of need to bring the exposure value down. And I'm hoping that the flash on the flash bar is going to go off. Uh, and of course, it did not go off. So we have these really crushed out blacks. But by exposing to one EV lower, we actually get uh, fewer burned out spots than we saw from this same area in the same kind of lighting on my Roll 1 review. Um, it was a great time. Uh, Robert was having fun here. But I shot again, as you see in this photo. Uh, there's a lot of nice contrast. It's nice and sharp, but still no flash. And that's going to bring us to our last shot right here. Uh, my buddy gave me some beer for helping him out on his porch, uh, building a porch. And um, <laughs> it was nice. But once again, no flash and a magenta hue. All in all, uh, I, I learned at the end of this that the problem was not the mint flash bar contacts. It was the contacts inside the Polaroid SX-70 camera. So they needed to be uh, cleaned. And so I kind of went in there with a little wire brush and just a very thin one, almost like steel wool kind of deal, and was able to clean them out. And then the flash bar started flashing more. I'm also concerned about whether or not the flash bar was doing some kind of metering on its own. Uh, well, that wasn't the case. The flash was going to fire when the circuit board in the SX-70 told it to fire. It would fire every time. It's not um, like an auto flash where it's metering as well. So that's good, which means now I've got it working. I've tested that out on another of that entry cartridge that has uh, the SX-70 battery in it. It's just an empty cartridge, so I've gone around photographing lots of stuff. But really, I was very disappointed this time around. And that's not something that I like to be. Uh, as far as using this camera professionally and things like that, I think it's going to take a little bit more on my end, just a kind of learning curve. Also, to look and see about that film, when you compare it to Fujifil Fujifilm Instax film, <laughs> Polaroid just does not compare when it comes to consistency of processing. Instax has it down. And that's too bad. Polaroid should be better. I want them to be better because it's Polaroid, because it's... <laughs> because that's what it is. And I'm just kind of feeling a little let down right now. But 
not to quit. We will continue. And so I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. We'll try this again. I'm going to get it right. And then I'll share with you. That's why I'm doing this, to share with you what happened on my journey so that you don't make those mistakes. If you got any comments, leave them down below. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye for now.